In the black sky above, a red supergiant has started its final ACT. The world of astronomy is watching with focused telescopes under the twinkling night. For years, experts predicted this grand celestial event with space calculations across the velvet void. Now that moment has finally arrived, and the cosmic drama begins above the starry horizon. The James Webb Telescope, with its infrared eyes, spotted this scene in the deep galaxy backdrop. It caught the second Betelgeuse, the mysterious star, started to burst in the wide cosmic darkness. This isn't some ordinary moment in the sky scene, but the closest supernova we've ever seen from Earth's view. Betelgeuse sits in the shoulder of Orion, blazing in the constellation painting above. It's not a normal sphere of fire, it's 700 times bigger than the sun's disk, and it has 20 times more mass, glowing fiercely in the night's frame. Over decades, its light pulsed and faded, warning of a celestial collapse in the space canvas. In 2019, the star dimmed abruptly, causing speculation across the global observatory landscape. But only now, with Webb's lens, are the true collapse signs visible across the stellar vista. Its surface bubbles, its energy bursts, and magnetic waves are twisting across the gas-lit scene. This is no simple space capture, but a deep look into a cosmic death, just 642 light-years away in the night heavens. For months, Webb recorded bubbles as large as Jupiter, floating through the star field like massive balls of gas. The star is launching plumes at unthinkable speeds across the nebula background. Inside its light spectrum, scientists found a shockwave moving through the star's burning shells. This marks the first time in history that we've watched a star's inner physics, not on screens but in the universal canvas. Betelgeuse is so near that this explosion might shine during the day, even brighter than the moon's face. But what matters more is its closeness, allowing us to study how stars die in the galactic scenery. From this, we're learning how carbon and oxygen are created inside these celestial furnaces. With each data point, Webb helps us look into our cosmic roots beneath the stellar ceiling. It's not just destruction, it's creation in motion across the deep black sky. This data allows detailed models to show how stars live and end across the glowing firmament. And maybe, someday, we'll predict when future stars will erupt in the dark horizon. This explosion didn't just shine, it sent ripples, shaking the interstellar structure like cosmic tremors. High-energy particles are now racing outward through gas clouds in the vacuum scenery. These clouds are heating and dust structures are shifting in the stellar maze. More shocking, there may be gravitational waves born from this core collapse in the space backdrop. If confirmed, this would be the first time we connect visible light with gravity data in the celestial scene. This would be a huge leap for physics, proving how matter, light, and space-time all interact in the cosmic stage. As Betelgeuse collapses, experts debate what's left behind in the shadowed vista. Will it become a neutron star, a black hole, or some unknown form glowing in the void? Some signs show chaos, twisting magnetic fields, strange plasma gaps, and falling material returning to the burning core. Some now believe we're seeing a transition object, something between neutron star and black hole in the cosmic drama. If true, Webb has captured the birth of a new entity floating inside the starry theater. People wonder, are we in danger from this in the midnight sky? The short answer, no, at 642 light years, it's far from Earth's safety zone. But the long answer is tricky, as radiation and gamma rays could shift how we see stars in the celestial view. Webb now tracks how this radiation spreads across the universe's lens. Even without harm, the blast could change the way we observe space from the Earth's rooftop. It reminds us that the cosmic skyline is always changing beyond the night clouds. Betelgeuse is massive, ancient, and now in its final scene across the twilight field. But its death isn't just an end, it's part of the stellar cycle, like rising stars in the solar tapestry. From its ashes, new stars and planets may form within the cosmic mist. In the data collected, Scientists found rare elements never created in normal stellar conditions. Elements like technesium and YTRIUM only form in extreme environments under the cosmic roof. These help trace the matter journey from dying stars to planets and even into our bodies. 
Beetlejuice's explosion is a chemical map in the galaxy frame. It will never shine again, its place in Orion becoming a glowing cloud floating in the night vastness. Its ending gives us knowledge, perspective, and elements, all from the stellar showcase. It reminds us our own sun will one day fade in the daylight dome. Without supernovas, there'd be no planets, no oceans, and no life in the earthly sphere. Thanks to Webb, we see the full cycle from fire to formation, from death to creation, all across the deep firmament. In the cold, quiet space silence, 642 light years away, a star died with a final cosmic roar. We didn't just watch, it was understood, measured, and felt in the galactic moment. This wasn't myth, but a real event, visible in the celestial scene of our human story. Betelgeuse gave us answers to ancient questions on the universal tapestry. Where we come from, how stars end, and what fate awaits our sun in the solar skyline. Webb saw not just an explosion, but our beginning, a look at our destiny in the cosmic frame. The universe still holds secrets, and now we know how to find them across the starry expanse. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.